Welcome to iPad Pros, a show all about professionals using the iPad to be productive and get work done. I'm Tim Chen, host of the show. Hello there and welcome to iPad Pros. On today's episode, I just want to dive into two different text apps that recently got on my radar that I thought, hey, everyone should really know about these and I want to just highlight them in this episode. It's going to be a quick episode. I'm going to do some more in-depth episodes in the future, uh, doing a bit of traveling soon. So I just wanted to get this episode out so everyone had a little bit of something to to dive into. Uh, The first app I want to talk about is Clean Text. So Clean Text is a $5 app on the App Store, and it uh, will sync across your iPhone and iPad. It uses iCloud Sync to do that. And what it does is it's true to its name. It'll clean text that you put into its text box. So what this means is it can do a lot of different things. So first off, it can extract every unique word you pasted into there and create a list out of that. So say you have a big, long paragraph, and you just want to get a list of all the unique words, it will do that. It will find unique words. It can extract email addresses from a paragraph of text or whatever text you put in there. It can extract phone numbers. So say you have a big, long group of text. It can find all the phone numbers. It can extract links from text. So this is really useful with HTML. You're able to just paste in a bunch of HTML and hit extract. It'll create a nice list of all the links that were in that HTML. Really helpful. You're able to sort words alphabetically. You're able to find and replace within here. You're also able to change uh, the case. So you're able to change everything to uppercase, everything to lowercase. You're able to randomize the case characters if you wanted to do that. You're able to title case it where every word is capitalized. And then you're also able to sentence case it where just the f- the first letter of every uh, sentence is capitalized. Really helpful. You're able to clean up and work with the quotations. So say you have a bunch of double quotation marks. You're able to change all of those to single quotes if you want to. You're able to do things like trim spaces. So say you have extra spaces and you want, you can trim those out. You can trim out empty lines. So if you say you have a bunch of line breaks, you can get rid of that. You can join different paragraphs. You have a plethora of different options to clean out your text. So it's a really, really powerful tool to, to work with text and an essential tool for, for many writers out there. So it's called Clean Text, and this is an app I would really recommend checking out. I think you'll get a lot of value out of that, especially when you combine it with the other app that I want to mention on today's show, and that is Grammarly Keyboard. So Grammarly Keyboard is Grammarly's first attempt at being on iOS. And it's a really good idea. So this is one of the few keyboards I actually have installed on my iPad. And what this app does is it integrates with the Grammarly service. They have both free and paid service to do grammar checkup on the text you're working with. And I use this at work to proofread blog posts. It's kind of a first crack at doing proofreading. I'll, of course, do human reading of the text. But Grammarly is a really good tool to find things that I may not have noticed if I was just using my my own uh, proofing skills. So Grammarly keyboard is really simple. You load up the keyboard and it will check any grammar you have in the text box above it. So any current text field that you're able to type into, it'll do a Grammarly check of that text. So say you're in wordpress.com, it will check all of the stuff in that text box that you're working with. Say you're in ByWord, it'll check all the text in that text box. So it's pretty comprehensive as far as its support across all the apps you work with, and it really does a great job. So all you do is you open up the keyboard and you hit the green Grammarly button in the little bar right above the keyboard. And it will search through all of the text available and suggest to you different grammar and spelling fixes that may make sense for the document you're working with. And you're able to either accept or deny. You're able to add things to your library of dictionary elements that's going to remember for the future. And it really just does a great job of helping you 
in your daily proofing life do a better job. The keyboard implementation is just great. It's it's awesome having that in any application you're at. So most of the time I have an extra keyboard hooked up, but when I want to jump into Grammarly, I will pull that third-party keyboard up to access those grammar features. Now in the smart keyboard, all you would do is hit the little international key. Then some people may think of it as the emoji key, but on the smart keyboard, you just hit the international key, and that lets you switch over to the Grammarly keyboard. On certain other third-party keyboards, you just hit the escape key, and that will, or the eject key, uh, excuse me, and that will pull up the on-screen keyboard where you can switch to that as well. So really easy to access from pretty much any keyboard you're working with externally, and it is a great combination with this clean text app to really do a lot of good proofing and, and fixing up of your text. So those are the two apps I wanted to just highlight in today's quick mini episode. Sorry for its abbreviated nature. I will be diving into some other more in-depth topics in the future, but thought, hey, let's let's do a quick little episode all about text and working with text on your iPad with this uh, little episode today. If you have feedback for me, I'd appreciate you sending that to iPadProsPodcast at gmail.com. And we'll be back next time in two weeks for another episode of iPad Pros. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.